Hi, I'm Tim. Welcome to Watch Want, and thanks for logging on. Today, we're looking at the Corum Admirals Cup Tides 48, part of a limited edition of 300 units built in alternately brushed and polished titanium. This 48mm latest generation variant of Corum's signature sports watch offers an enticing alternative to oversized sports watch options from the likes of Breitling and Omega. Now, on my wrist, six and a third inches, 16 centimeters. You can see that although it is a 48 millimeter case, it wears comfortably. Now, big is the style with this watch, but first of all, it's not quite as thick as you'd expect. About 14 millimeters thick, it actually has a slightly cupped back that nestles into the skin, so it sits lower than its nominal thickness. It also features a faceted bezel that curves slightly inward at the top, so that unless you're wearing the absolute tightest of dress cuffs, this watch is likely to clear a long sleeve. And with a gorgeous combination of a black dial, black bezel, and a white, or shall we say grayish white metal, this is a watch that can pull off formal attire. It is, after all, an Admiral's Cup. And the bottom line is, the Admiral's Cup, completely in titanium, wears far lighter than any 48mm full bracelet sports watch has a right to. Titanium is a light metal. It's right down there with the lightest materials from which a watch can be made, down there with composite ceramized aluminum and forged carbon. So although this is a nearly 50 millimeter sports watch, it wears more like an equivalent 42 millimeter steel watch on a bracelet. For instance, something like a Rolex Explorer II um, in the 42 millimeter case on a full oyster bracelet in stainless steel. This has that kind of mass to it. It doesn't feel like a small wrist clock. Close your eyes and it shrinks. Now the other element to its ergonomic triumph is it fantastically finished full three-link bracelet, metal, titanium, titanium brushed and polished on the outside, beautifully detailed, rubberized on the center links. This thing feels a treat on the wrist, first of all because it's sturdy and it lives up to the promise of the huge dodecagonal case, but also because on the underside, the ergonomic finishing is superb. You can see the broad channels in between the links. This is a bracelet for a sports watch done right. It won't pinch skin, it won't pull hair, it sits comfortably on the wrist, and it's a perfect companion for this watch on a hot day. Now, Corum pairs it with a very high-quality, double-deployant, trigger-activated stainless steel clasp. Stainless steel, in contrast to the titanium of the bracelet and the case, because these are, these are smaller, milled-out members, so Corum uses the strongest material available. But there is beautiful finishing on here, beautiful sculpting of the individual links themselves, alternately polished and brushed. Corum is well known for its dress watches, for its jewelry watches, and to get that kind of a approach to building a sports watch is to yield special considerations, a bit more artistic, a bit more considered, a bit more aesthetically pleasing than you'll see on rivals in the sports watch sector. Now you can see when it's closed, it cuts an extremely low profile, really it doesn't impede the flow of the bracelet at all, unlike some bigger blockier sports watch clasps that have a sort of separate modular element of their own. All you see is the Corum marquee polished from the top and then the twin triggers to deploy the clasp like so. Now the bottom line is that the case back is also an important part of the ergonomic equation here, and Corum does a great job on three levels. First, there is a little bit of curvature to the case back, so it does sort of nestle into the wrist comfortably. The next important element is the fact that channels are cut into the cover. So you can see that the channels are there to wick heat, moisture, and sweat away from the wrist during hot days or intense activity. And finally, there is a natural rubber vulcanized cover to this case back that's very soft against the skin. This is of the highest quality. Think Hublot strap, think the diver strap on an Audemars Piguet Royal Oak Offshore. That's what it feels like. Very soft, a tactile pleasure to touch with the fingers or to wear on the wrist. And of course you can see the Corum Admiral's Cup logo and the promise of 300 meter 1,000 foot water resistant at center. Again, aesthetically nothing is overlooked on a Corum. Now the bracelet is fully integrated into the brushed and polished titanium case. You can see that the hoods of the lugs are polished, the flanks are brushed, and the entire assembly features the 12-sided form that has been an icon of the Admiral's Cup line since its reboot in 1983. That was also the period when it gained these nautical pennants in place of the hour markers. But since 1993, Corum has fitted the Admiral's Cup with its signature, shall we call it, deluxe moon phase complication, because not only do you get the phase of the moon at 12 o'clock, 
You also get the strength and speed of the tides. You get the direction of the tides. You get the height of the tides and the time at which the tide is at its highest peak and its lowest ebb. Plus, since you have the height of the tides over each 24-hour segment of, the, of uh, time, you actually have an AM-PM indicator calibrated accordingly on the 24-hour subdial at 6 o'clock. Now, it's a gorgeous composition in as much as the case, the bezel, the crystal, and the chaptering of the dial all feature that 12-faceted form. So, aesthetically, you can take one glance at an arm's length and know you're looking at an Admiral's Cup. Frankly, it looks like nothing else in the sports watch sector, and there are not many oversized sports watches of which that can be said. A completely original design, it's held up over the years. It's evolved with upscale detailing, larger proportions, different complications, but the Admiral's Cup has an endearingly enduring quality to it and an instantly recognizable face that makes it not just an icon of quorum, but one of the few truly enduring time-tested designs in a luxury watch sector that frankly is expanding at breakneck pace. This one's built for keeps, this one's built for the long haul, and that's already been proved by its longevity to date. Now special luxury details that make this characteristic of the latest reference Admiral's Cup include the applied chevrons with metallic surrounds at each of the hour indices. Now you can see these signaling pennants that are part of the Admiral's Cup design scheme. What you might not notice, but I'll point out right here is that there is a chevron with a metallic surround at the base of each. The pennants are on the chapter ring, the chevron is on the base of the dial, and each of those is fully loomed. Likewise, the broad trapeze style hands at center are also fully loomed. So in true sports watch fashion, this watch boasts outstanding legibility at night. It does feature an automatic movement with a beautifully discreet date window right there. It's there when you want it, disappears completely when you don't. Likewise, pull the crown and the movement hacks so you can synchronize this elaborate moon phase and tidal chart to a precise reference timer, such as a known accurate quartz watch or an atomic clock. And it is quite a formal composition in as much as you have the traditional nautical imagery of the pennants. You have the gorgeous combination of the whitish gray metal and the black details. And this is the rare oversized watch that can absolutely be worn with a straight face in formal attire. Because Corum is known for its design, it's known as a iconic watchmaker of Le Chaux de Fon, a center of architecture, Le Corbusier comes from there, design and technological innovation, originally the hometown of Louis Chevrolet, as well as avant-garde art. It's been a hotbed of Art Nouveau since the 19th century. This watch very much stems from that sensibility, so in a kind of raffish, even slightly audacious fashion, this large reference can absolutely play with formal attire, and Corum makes that a point of pride throughout the Admiral's Cup line. Additional elements of thoughtful design include this composite cap that acts as the crown guard. You can see that not only does it act as a sort of extension of that terminal angle of the bezel as it approaches the corner of the case, but it also gives tremendous coverage to this double knurled crown. Now, like I said, this watch has 300 meter, 1,000 foot water resistance, so robust for diving off the, you know, the high board, for water skiing, anything short of hardcore diving bell activity, this Corum Admiral's Cup is good for that too. From the sea floor to the dance floor, this is a versatile piece. And when I talk about the design, virtuosity of Corum. When I talk about leaving no item overlooked, nothing is rote, nothing is left unadorned, or at least unconsidered. And you can see with the Corum crest, the little double key on the polished exterior face of the crown, this double knurling pattern that makes it so easy to get purchase on it, even when the hand is wet, sweaty, or slippery, that design continuity, that holistic design approach is very much in evidence. This is an outstanding example of a watch that really is a go-to, do-it-all, everyday timepiece. It offers the value proposition to compete with the best from Omega, the best from Breitling, the best from Tag Heuer, but at the same time, it offers an enduring style, appeal, and versatility that really transcends price, capability, and a unique complication with a look that is all quorum and unique to the Admiral's Cup. This is one of the most distinctive watches in the high-end luxury sports time piece, piece sector. And I can't recommend highly enough that you give it a look, you consider its unique charm, its offbeat appeal, 
It's incredible range of talents on our website, Watch You Want.